We are going to build this login with Retrofit using MVVM design pattern in Java. When the login button is clicked, a remote API call is made with Retrofit and login token is returned. This tutorial is a request which is our topmost priority. Thanks so much for that. Let's begin our implementation. If we see our diagram MVVM, the repository contains two data sources. First one is the local data source and the second one is remote data source. In the remote data source, we are using this retrofit to call the web service for the login validation. Now coming back to the code, first of all we need to add the internet permissions in the manifest. So let's add the internet permission. It will be internet access permissions. The next thing is we need to add a Gradle dependencies for the retrofit. Let's go to the Gradle and down here in the implementations we need to add retrofit dependencies. You can find these dependencies in the description. So our dependencies are successfully added. Now we have to sync the project again. Now after syncing the project, we need to first we need to create a retrofit client. Go to the Java class and create a new class named as retrofit client instance. In this class, we need to create a set static variable of retrofit. And then we need a static get, get instance. This is a singleton method. So in this method, first we need to check whether our member variable of the retrofit is null. Then we need to create a new instance for that. and we need to create a new instance using the builder and uh, first we need to add a base URL so for the base URL we need to check our remote API URL this is the request URL as you can see get the link address so our base URL will always be the first part of the URL so copy that part and paste it in the URL and the next thing is we need to add a converter factory which is already available in the retrofit so we are using the json conversion factory and create an instance for that and the last thing is we need to call the build method so after that we need to return the retrofit variable so the next thing is so if we go to our api so it is a post request with the body having the email and the password. So this is the JSON format. So we need to convert it into the Java Java model class. So let us first first create a body request body for this post login. Create a new class named as login body. And in this one the first one is the string and the next one is password let's add a constructor for both of these and a getter setter for both so this is the login body we will use this login body in the retrofit but first we need to add a serialized name for these two values so the serialized name for these two values will be serialized serialized names are if we see our api and the first thing is email the serialized name for this one is email and the second one is password so in our code we need to enter the same one as email and the second serialized one is password 
The next thing is we need to create a response model for the API service. So going back to the API service, we can see the response is in JSON with the string token. So we need to create a response model for this for this one. Create a new class and name it as login response. So this class will contain only one string variable and that is token. Create a getter setter for this and uh, the last thing is serialized name for this one will be token. So now the retrofit requirements are now completed. The last thing is we need to create a login service. So if we see our API, the login service will be uh, is available on API slash login with the method as post. So create a new Java class. So it will be an interface. We'll name it as I login service. So this will be a call from the retrofit and the type will be the response that we have created earlier. The method will be login and for this login we have to add a body with the model class of login body. Import this one. And the last thing is we need to make it as post request. So in the post request, we need to pass this API slash login at which the request is made. So the login service is also completed. So let us first check our diagram, which things are left now. So if we see our diagram, the repository is calling the remote API. So we need to add a login method in the repository so that it can communicate, it can call the remote login service. So in the repository, we need to create a new method, which will be login remote. So in this method, we need to pass login body and the second thing is the login response callback returning to the view model. Let us first create a, a callback for that one. Create a new interface for that I login response and in that one we will be having two methods on response so the response will be login response with the token the next one is on failure so we can use the throwable so in the login remote we need to first pass the argument of login body and the second one is I login response callback. The first one is we need to call the service. So create a variable for that one and then we need to call the retrofit client instance and first get the instance of that and then we have to create a new login service on that instance. Pass the class. Now we need to call the login method from that login service. So this will res this will be a call from the retrofit with the with the type login response. So 
let's call it as initiate login so this will be login service calling the login with the login body so login body is passed as an argument so pass that one now on on this initiate login we need to enqueue this login into the retrofit client so that the call is made this one will be callback this will be a response call and this will be a response with the login response having the token first we need to check if the response is successful let's create an else for that so first if the login response is successful we need to send the response back to the view model so on response and getting the response body and passing it into the callback else if the response is not successful then we need to return with the failure and passing the response message to it in any case there is a failure in the initiate login then we need to send this throw label that is passed here going back to the diagram the view model needs to call the repository for the login go to the view model in the view model we need to create a new method for that so the first thing will be a mutable data for the login response so we need to create a mutable data for the login and name it as member variable of login result initialize this login result with the value so we need we can pass it as not login because the button is not clicked yet the next thing is we need to create a login method in this view model so the login method will will be having two arguments email and password so from the previous video of mvvm implementation first we need to use the progress mutable data so that we can show, show the progress to the user so posting the value of it as view dot visible the next thing is we need to update the response string of the login as checking the login so that we can show something to the user the next thing is we need to call the repository login so in this login we need to create a new login body instance with the email and password so the first argument will be email second one will be the password the next argument is the login response callback when the response is retrieved we need to update the progress as and make it as invisible in any case there is a failure we need to make the progress as invisible so if the response is successful we need to update the login mutable data as login success and on the failure we need to update it with the login failure and uh, also show also show the error message to, to the user so we need to now observe this login mutable data for this one we need to create a new live data response and this will be our string and name it as get result login and here we need to return the login mutable data so the last thing left is the view so for the view we need to create two text views with the email and password and a new button login these are the very basics one so i'll just fast forward here
now the view is now created so now we need to create a we need to add the on click listener on the login button so in the on click listener when the button is clicked we need to call the view model and call the login so it is requiring the email email will be retrieved from the edit text from email and also the password so when the login button is clicked the repository will create make a login request and the response is made and login mutable data is updated with the response all right so the last thing left here is we need to create we need to observe this mutable live data in the view so call the get login result and now we need to observe it with the current activity as the lifecycle owner and then we need to create observer here when the login result is updated we need to show it to the user that response is successful or not so that's pretty much it let's close the this application here and run the application again so it is requiring the email and password for the login if we click on the login with the empty credentials it should show this failure so let's type the correct credentials hit the login button great so it is now showing that login is successful that's it for this one see you on the next one thanks